welcome back. It's your man, Jason Matuk. I'm here to take you through this magnificent house in Delray Beach. We're in Fox Chase. The community only has 43 homes and they all have lots like this. This house is a five bedroom, eight bathroom, two half bathroom, about 7,400 square feet. And it's sitting on a 1.1 acre lot. And one of the hot spots of Delray Beach is Atlantic Ave and of course the ocean. And guess what? We're three minutes from both of them. So you got great access, great community, and it's a great house. So on that note, let's go around this majestic tree and head inside. So just before I get in, looking back on that driveway, that roundabout, you can easily put 15, 20 cars and the driveway comes up one side. So you, parking is not an issue here. And with communities like this, it could be, but that's not the case of this house. So when I come up, look how grand this entrance is. You already know right away that you're going somewhere special. The design and the arch is top notch. Welcome home. So before the tour begins, right above me, almost like raining droplets from heaven, you have this insane light fixture that is just really pleasant to look at. And it goes with the whole theme of this modern, clean entrance. So right off, the entrance, it takes you into your formal living room. And again, another light fixture that's just, it just looks like a piece of art. I love when people spend the time to find the right ones for the room, this really works. Coming around, great sitting area. But of course, not many people are gonna be using this. This is just kind of like a entrance room. And then even just the little details like this, wooden wall, didn't need to do that, but they did. And look, look at the vibe it created. Before we get started on that side of the house, right behind me is actually the master bedroom. So let's just head right in and see the, uh, this is the main quarters of the whole property. So on my right, you have a, one of the bedrooms over here. Can either be a guest office or just a guest bedroom. It has its own ensuite right here and then it takes you in. This room has the speakers above and a window to let in natural light. And it's just look at the design of this window overlooking the, the property and all that peace and quiet. So this would, in my opinion, make a perfect office. But let's take a look at the actual main bedroom coming in. The design on the floor, the little square tile between the wooden floor came out really great. And then as we come here, this is really cool. So my left and right, you have his and her closet, her and her closet, his and his closet. We'll start on this side. This to me looks like the more masculine looking closet. It's got the wood finishes, everything uh, nice and open back here, even just windows in front of the closet so you can see, you don't have to search for things. And then it takes you down. You got your own private sink. You have your bathroom just hidden behind a piece of glass and then a walk, a walk around shower that's free, open, take a shower, see some water, see my pool area, very impressive. Everything here is just not one mistake. However, that's not the only bathroom that this room has. Of course not, that would be too basic. So coming out of here, takes me right into the second bathroom. And this one, in my opinion, is a lot lighter. So that's what gave me the inclination that it could be his and hers, but it comes all the way down. The same kind of window design on these closets so you can still see in, even some mirrors as you're going down. Just really nicely done. Private sink, and then this is a this is a gorgeous tub. Look at this. Just makes me want to hop in there myself and take a nice bath. But that's a lie. I hate taking bath. Baths are the worst. But if you like baths and bath bombs, then boom, you got this. Privacy, maybe throw some plants out there, some art behind that wall, make a mural. It's a good idea. And then you got the walk-in shower with a rain head that can literally cover my whole width. So I'm a thick guy, so it should be good for anybody. So out of here, the main living space of the bedroom. Now, one thing that I just wanna definitely point out is the subtle lighting in the room. So besides the lighting up above, hidden, and the hi-hats going around, you even have this arched light. And if you'll remember, it kind of mimics the arch in the front of the house. So I think that's what they were going for, but I just love how the light comes down a little, little bit. It looks very Middle Eastern or on that side of the world, but I, this would be great putting your massive bed over here and 
a view of the water, a nice sitting area, dressers on that side. It's a great space. Let's continue. That lighting also continues above here, which I had missed, and it just really comes out nice. Even when you're leaving the master's area, you get the chandelier above, the light fixture, very impressive. Every light fixture in here seems to be more impressive than the last one, so. Even the height of these ceilings and the hi-hats, you probably have like 50 to 100 hi-hats going all the way around. And before, don't look, before we get here and see all these funny surprises, you have to stay tuned for this. Let's go take a look at the rest of the guest bedrooms. Coming down, on my left, you have the first half bathroom. I have never seen a half bathroom with countertops finished in this blue, like shattery glass looking thing. It's insane. And then the walls have just this marble texture going all the way to the top. Even the light fixtures in here, just mwah, chef's kiss. Coming down on my left and on my right, you have two more guest bedrooms. And I want to show you the size of these. I'll show you one right here. Each room has that crazy size. They all have nice windows just looking out really clean and then full en suites in the rooms. All of the heights of the ceilings are enormous. So everything feels twice as large as it really is, but you can really feel the square footage in this house. And then as we come down further, oh, oh, that's real. It's beautiful, look at that. Probably shouldn't touch it. As we come down, you have just like you had over there, two more guest suites, probably bigger than those. You have an entire guest suite with its own ensuite in there, another guest suite. This one has a beautiful backsplash on the bathroom. Look at the wall of this shower. Insane, and it's just high enough so that no one can see you, but you can get some privacy, and it's impressive. Even the mirror has a strip bar of light so it just looks really cool and just like in this room you have a room identical to it the same backsplash really great design and it comes in here this is so impressive you even have oh, i forgot what they call them the place where you sit down you take off your shoes and whatnot oh, there's a word for it anyway just a great little sitting area storage maybe they come from school throw the backpacks up it has a tv so they can just hang out if your kids follow you everywhere and you're doing laundry perfect but take a look at the size of this laundry room. It's, it's, they've, the detail that went into here is insane. Even the sink having this arch of wood. You have dual washer and dryers, and all of this is accessible from that garage that we saw. So in the garage, you have a huge garage, and this leads to where the side of the house is where you see my car parked um, and the driveway extends. So that's what I was talking about. You have all that parking space and you have a true one, two, three. Well, it's actually two car, three car, and this is for a golf cart. So the golf cart comes in. This door is specifically for your golf cart because I know you have one. You live in Fox Chase, you definitely have one. And uh, even some extra storage down there if this wasn't enough for you. Let's head back in. I'm going to show you the bar that I was trying to block, but it's time to treat you since you, you made it to this part. Let's go take a look at the bar. Coming down out of the guest bedroom hallway, it's time to talk about it. Let's talk about that bar. Kind of like a bar. It's actually like an insult to call this a bar. When I think a bar, I think of like a, just a place where you put some bar stools and some drinks. I don't feel the vibe for this. This to me, this is like a, this is where you pour that drink with a really big ice cube in it. You know what I mean? And you have like an old fashioned, but take a look, light fixtures flow down onto this. I've never seen uh, a stone like this where it has that all black with a strip of color in it. Came out nicely. You have the sink here. Down below, you got a dishwasher, ice maker, all the facilities that you're gonna need over here. Even a place to hold some wine bottles and the backsplash reflects what's on the bar stool tabletop right here. Some more storage a hundred bottle wine cooler made by Mila. And how about this? You know, you, you just got that really exclusive bottle. You invite your best friend over, come here, sit down, have a taste. Look at these glasses. I don't care what you put in this glass. It's gonna taste really good. And then even on the other side, you didn't have enough space. You got another one over here, more storage, fridge for more storage. If you, if these are not enough for you and you need these two, well then, then invite me over, because it sounds like you got a 
Got a fun little hobby of drinking. I'm a fan. <laughs> so from here, we're gonna just peel in, peel into the kitchen. Wow, I know I, that was a lot to take in at once. Now we're in the kitchen. And this kitchen, in my opinion, is one of the most visually like pleasing. It, let's just get started. <laughs> Behind me, whoo, look at the size of this. Look at the size of this. You have a Mila fridge and freezer right over here. I mean, that thing is freezing, God, it's ice cold. All of these are active storage, so it's going up and around the whole kitchen, and the hi-hats continue all in here as well. Super bright. And then even just a little hint lighting under here, Mila stovetop, of course. Everything Mila. And the vent, hidden under. You almost thought there wasn't one, completely hidden. You come down a little further. I love all the counter space you get here. Even these really cool opening. Wow, look at that. Amazing. And even the sink has little features like this and it's really clean, nice private. The yard actually continues out in front of this window. So it's not like you're really zero lot lined in. 1.1 acres, you're gonna see it. And off the island, instead of having a f another table just sitting over here or bar stools, you have a proper sit down table connected to the island, which makes it really great if it's like the morning having breakfast or you just wanna have a less formal place to sit and eat. And on top of that, you have an even less, like a less formal place to sit and eat right over here. So that could be the breakfast room. This could be like the lunch room and there's still a dining room. And you even have, look at this light fixture, this art, art. And then you have the three panel windows overlooking the pool and the water, which I'm a huge fan of and a wooden tiger on the floor. Okay. So off of here, it's going to pass right down through. Here we have the TV room, just off of the kitchen, off of the living space. You got your drink, got everything ready to go. Just hang out, watch a good game, watch Jason and Tooth's luxury home tour videos, why not? And just one thing, look at the size of this door leading out. It's a huge window, first of all, and compared to me, it's massive. And all the sliders in here are the same size as this door, so it's very impressive. Coming down, I thought originally that this was like a mirror, but the cool thing is this room, this entire room has a partition. So let's say you're entertaining and you want some privacy. You can separate these two rooms and completely make it two separate areas. Let's say you're having a dinner party in here or you have the guests, the kids are screaming. Like, Stop screaming, please. No need to yell. No need, let's be good parents here. Just come in here, close the door and you're super private. And it leads into a, this is, write it down. This is one of the most beautiful dining tables I've ever seen. Even the chairs are made out of wood. I don't wanna know what this costs. I feel like it'll hurt my feelings. Right here, I actually don't know what's behind this door. What is this? Oh, you have a full bathroom right over here, which is really great because it's just off the pool area. This could actually be kind of like a cabana bath but it is the perfect guest bathroom, especially if you use the example I was using earlier with the loud children, you don't have to go back in there. You're still nice and secluded, got all your facilities and check this out. It hides so perfectly. You know what's better than one bar? Two bars. I mean, what, what, what do I say about this? It's got its own dishwasher, sink, more storage, so you have a stove top and the microwave oven. This is a second, you have a second kitchen, congratulations. And what's a bar without a TV on the wall, playing the game, playing whatever is on the, playing soccer, Who, where are my soccer fans at? And the same light fixture that we saw in that less formal sitting area, you got two of them over here. And another feature that I have not seen previously, look at the lighting underneath the lip of the bar. I mean, what? who was designing these places? They're doing a great job. And this whole room is blessed with views of the water, the flowing trees, the pool. My, my ions are feeling really good right now. <laughs> and then just a couple more seats to top it all off. Access straight to outside. And uh, I think it's time for a, a vibe check real quick. So let's go ahead and take a look outside, but I wanna open, I wanna get started. Take a look. 
How magical is this? Let's just, let's just step out one time. If hosting a dinner party in there is not ideal for you, then how about outside? Even this design of the ceiling above, it's nice and shaded, nice and cool. It's a, the landscaping is immaculate. And how about this outdoor wooden tile floors, steps down to lead into the grass. Absolutely insane. And this is not all you get out here. There's a whole bunch of outdoor space. Coming across here, how about a pool? Of course, of course there's a pool, come on. Nice waterfalls on both sides. All of this space, loungers, chairs, think about how much you could put out here. It's, the, the space is endless. And let's go up this way, take a look on this top, top part. How's that? How beautiful is that? This place is immaculate. Looking back on it, I love the layout. Those vines, those, uh, once those vines are grown in and they're healthy and happy, this place is gonna stand out. It actually feels like a vineyard in California. All right, and on that note, I'd like to say thank you for watching this video. We have a whole bunch of videos coming up, so if you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Absolutely massacre that subscribe button and hit the like button, share it, click all the buttons, just tap a bunch of stuff, comment, and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Thank you. All right.